Dragon Master, Fortress of the Stone Dragon. Chapter 5 Into the Fortress. I am Drake, and this is my dragon, Worm. Drake called out. His voice echoed across the stone fortress. And I am Mina of the far north. This is my dragon, Frost. Mina announced it. Can we come in? We are friendly. We are here with a warning, Drake said. How do I know you're telling the truth? The boys replied. Drake shaded his eyes as he looked towards the far right tower. He saw a boy with dark hair. A green stone, a green dragon stone glittered around the boy's neck. We are dragon master just like you are, Draco replied. He held up his own dragon stone to show him. A boy frowned. How can I be sure that you are friendly? Beside the boy, Drake saw a tall gray dragon. That must be the stone dragon, Drake thought. He called up the boy. Worm will tell your dragon that we mean no harm. No harm. Have one. Have Worm do it then. The boy cried. Drake turned to Worm. Please tell the stone dragon that we are not going to cause any trouble. Worm gazed up at the dragon. After a moment, Drake saw the boy's dragon stone glow. His dragon was communicating with him. A boy slowly nodded. Shaka said, I can trust you. I will let you in. I will let you in. The boy and dragon disappear from the tower. Drake hear a groan in front of them as the stone door slowly began to slide to the side. The dragon master from the tower waiting for them. Waited for them. Next to him, Shaka's body was glowing with gray energy. A stone door seems to be sliding on its own. Is the stone dragon moving the door with her power? Power? Drake wondered. He's, then, then he, Mina, Worm, and Frost step into the fortress. Drake got a good look at Shaka. She, is a, she has a strong, strong, sturdy shape. Her sharp, her gray scales reminded him of, him of stone. Her sharp spikes going down her back look like dark crystals. The stone dragon began to glow again, and the door slide, slid open behind them. Well, who? The red cried. Can Shaka move things with her mind? Where well, my earth dragon can do that. Shaka can connect to anything made of stone, the boy replied. And he smiled up the first time. I am Casper. Gianna, the head wizard, told us this place is very magical. Drake said, It is, Casper said. Let me show you the Garden of the Beast. They frowned. Casper across a country yard. Giant rock rose up the ground rose up from the ground. Some of the rocks were bigger than the dragons. Casper led them to the into the different country yard. Scattered across the ground were bones. Hundreds of bones. And the bones were huge. Some of them were as long as warm and as thick as uh, tree trunks. Dragon Mina gasped. Bones, Mina asked, do you think that Esther is going to bring these bones to life? Drake cried. 